Hello and welcome back to Omnis Technologies. We're covering Cetera tutorials now, so make sure you subscribe for this Cetera tutorials content. Uh, we're here with our IT technician, Zach Ball. Good morning, Zach. Good morning. And today he's going to show us the basic setup to how you set up your uh, backup agents on Cetera. So take it away, Zach. All right. So this is assuming that you already have the Cetera set up. Uh, on the network with whatever configuration you have. So the basic setup is, first thing is first, you're gonna go and log into the Cetera using the IP address. Now there, there's a couple of places you can actually access the backup agents from. There's the main configuration screen here or there's the local backup Cetera agent screen. I usually go from this screen just because it's more of a technical view. So from this screen up above, there is a download agents and you can choose from Windows, Linux, and Mac. Obviously with this, we're gonna go with Windows. This is a Windows 10 machine. Now the setup that I'm gonna be doing is also can be applied to servers um, as well as workstations. So obviously we've downloaded our Cetera agent. We're going to go ahead and run it. And it's fairly small. It's like a 64 megabytes or so. And you can actually save the agent out in a network location or copy it to a flash drive and use it from there. So in this particular case, this is an agent per user. Uh, the C200 supports up to one server license and 20 workstations. So we're going to go ahead and install it with just the basics, C drive, next, next. Should only take a couple of seconds. Now, the one thing you will notice is when the agent starts, the Windows Explorer will reset, which it just did. So the basic setup wizard is to set up the agent, you have to register the agent with the Cetera. So what we're gonna do is put in our IP our local IP address, which in this case is .18. Then you're going to have to plug in your admin credentials to also register it. And the Cetera agent will always be running down here in the system tray. If the cloud is blue, it's connected. If it's grayed out, there's obviously some kind of network issue or the agent hasn't acquired a license maybe. There's a couple of things that can happen with that. So the first thing is what we're gonna look at is a file level backup. Uh, generally with workstations, I just do file level backups. We can do a, a disk image, but most people don't care about the system image on a workstation. So a file level backups, after the agent is running, what we can do is we can go into documents. Most people store everything on the desktop and documents. So what I do is I right click, you're going to, I mean, you can apply this to any folder. So any folder under the C drive, uh, user folders, whatever. You right click on the folder and go add to backup. So actually documents just got picked up and I usually do back, I usually do documents and desktop just as a default. So I just added the desktop and then documents I'm going to add to the backup. Now, obviously we don't have a lot of files in here but if there's a green check mark, that means it's getting backed up. That's how you know those folders are getting backed up. So I could move, you know, when you put new files in here, they should have a green check mark. So that's file level backups. Now we can so, enable um, those folders with the those folders with the uh, green uh, plus or check marks. Those are like synced to the C terrace. Well, so they haven't been backed up yet. Oh, okay. They're it selected they're, for backup. They're, they're selected for backups. So let's see if I can. But from here, so once once it registers with the Cetera, then we can go in and actually change the settings for the backup. So like, let's click on this one, for instance. So what we're gonna be looking at in here is obviously the agents connected. And we're gonna be 
really only looking at a couple of things. So the file level backup is what we're looking at here. So we can set in here, we can set what time the agent runs, or you can just set it up to do periodic backups. We usually like to go with, obviously we like to go with a certain time outside of hours. I generally don't like to run the backups during that time period. So that way there's no files getting missed on the backup. So we try to shoot for after hours, you know, after six or seven. But in here, you can you can enable, you can override the global settings and you can actually set a specific date and time for the backups to run Monday through Sunday, um, selected files, applications, that sort of thing. So we can get very, we can get very specific with our backups. Sometimes we have them just running once a week. Depends on how much the data changes. And obviously, it'll give you a log of how much is being backed up at that point in time. So the other thing we're going to cover is the cloud backups. Now, this is coming into a situation where you want to do cloud backups and local backups. So what we can do is we can get very specific about what is being backed up to the cloud. So like for instance, this, this agent here is getting backed up to the cloud on this computer. So we'll hit the drop down and make sure all of it's checked. And then we're gonna hit the save button. And then that's gonna push all of that data offsite. Let's say that this information isn't mission critical and it doesn't need to go off the cloud. We'll just uncheck that machine. And it'll just be backed up locally only. Because the, the client's obviously paying, you pay the space in the cloud the more you have the more you pay so depending upon what you're backing up you know you may not want to pay for it unfortunately sure. but and then we can set a schedule we can also set a schedule on when the cloud <clears throat> the cloud backups actually happen so this particular we have a mid midnight so i have this set up for all the backups to run between six and i believe 11 then all of that new data is pushed off site at 12 a.m. And the other thing to consider was how much data is actually being backed up. If you have several gigs, it could, might take a couple of hours if you don't have the bandwidth to push it. So and this is all in the cloud backup setup. Um, and we can, I mean, you can throttle bandwidth if you'd like. I, we generally don't do that because everyone has pretty good internet. But that's really the basics I don't have any disk level backups set up on this particular client. We just do straight files. We're just worried about files. Not so much worried about the system images. I have a separate process for that. Cool. So All right. well, Zach, that's an overview on local and cloud backups on the Citera agents. Uh, make sure you follow us or subscribe for more Citera videos. Thanks again, Zach. Thank you. We'll see you next time.